In this video, you'll learn how to use the newsletter builder in Beehive. The newsletter builder allows users to create and design as many unique newsletter templates as they want, all within the same publication. For example, if a user sends out a newsletter on a weekday and a weekend, they can create two different templates that they can start a post from. Or users can also style a specific newsletter post that was created from a blank draft. Let's get straight into it. To get started, log into your Beehive account and click on Start Writing on the left-hand side. From here, under the Start Writing tab, you can choose to start from scratch from a blank draft or choose from one of our quick start templates. If you want to create your own template or choose from existing templates you've created, click on My Templates instead. Now let's walk through how to create your first newsletter template. First, click on New Template and you'll be redirected to the post editor. And from here, give your template a name, description, and thumbnail. These details will be visible on the My Templates page later on. Once you've entered your template details, you can now create the content that's in your template. This is relevant if you wanna use the same components or content whenever you're writing a new post. For example, you can insert a logo banner, headings, and the sections of a newsletter post in a template so that you don't have to reinsert them later. This is helpful if your newsletter posts always follow the same type of structure. This is completely optional, however, and you can actually create a template that doesn't contain any content in it. This is because in addition to copying over the content in a post, templates will also copy over the styling of a post. The styling of a post includes what fonts are being used, what colors, spacing, margin, and all those type of things. To start editing the style of a newsletter template, click on the style tab in the top right corner of your screen. Once you do this, you'll now see a preview of your template on the left-hand side and styling options on the right-hand side. And under style, you'll now see basic and advanced options. If you wanna quickly make changes to the overall colors, typography, and spacing of the template, you can make adjustments in the basic tab. If you wanna get more granular than that, you can click on the advanced tab, which allows you to adjust every aspect of your post template. For example, here you can customize the appearance of specific widgets like links, images, and buttons, and even the email header and footer. Essentially, the basic tab allows you to adjust the overall appearance of a newsletter template, while the advanced tab allows you to do that but allows you to get more specific to what you're actually editing. When you're making any changes to your template, you'll see the changes appear in the preview on the left-hand side of your screen, and these changes will actually be auto-saved. Now, once you're done styling your post template, you can click on the details tab to enter a subject line and preview text. This will be the default subject line and preview text that will be used when you later use this template. You can of course choose to override or change these details when you're actually using the template. Once you're finally done making your template, your changes will be automatically saved. And now you'll see the template you just created under My Templates in the Post Template Library. Now, when you wanna create a new post using this template, just click on the three dots next to it and click on Use Template. You'll also be able to edit the template whenever you want, preview the template, duplicate the template, or delete the template here as well. In addition to creating and using templates, you can also style a post that starts from a blank draft. When you start from a blank draft or are editing a previous post, you'll be able to customize the style of that specific post without having to create a template. Simply click on the style tab when you're writing to customize the style at any point. You can customize your automation emails, welcome emails, upgrade emails, and more with the same styling tab. Any changes you make through the style tab will not affect the styling of any of your other posts, just the one you're currently editing. Now, if you've created a post from a blank draft, or want to save the styling of a previous post that you've created, simply click on the Save as Template icon at the top of the post editor. This will allow you to save the content and styling of the post you're currently editing. Now that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you might like the other design-related tutorials on our YouTube channel.